Welcome to your new Class C motorhome. As we get ready to start camping, one of the things we have to do is set up camp. And the first thing I want to show you is how to hook up your sewer connections and your fresh water connection. First of all, on the driver's side of the coach, you'll notice that there's a city water connection. It's a simple three quarter inch hose connection. And you'll want to make sure before you go camping that you actually provide a new hose, one that's specific for fresh water for an RV. And you can pick those up at pretty much any camping store. The hose usually is white in color. And as you can tell, it's simple enough to just take, screw in, and now we're connected. You want to make sure that you don't turn on the hose prior to actually connecting it to the coach or you're going to get pretty wet here on the outside. Now that we've got some fresh water going into the inside of the coach, now it's time to hook up our black and our gray tanks. Obviously the black and the gray tanks is where all of our sewage goes when we're using the coach. Gray usually is where your shower and all of your sinks go and then black is usually where your toilet goes. You're going to want to make sure that you have a good three inch hose, which you can find once again at your camping store. You can find it at a local Walmart or wherever, but you're going to want that three inch hose so you can connect to the black and the gray tank. The three inch hose looks something very much like this. So you can see that you'll have some extension. Usually you can get them in 15 to 30 feet. And of course you can connect these together depending on how far you have to go. You'll see there's a connector on the end that allows you to screw it in place. So it stays secure with your hose will go to where the actual sewer tank connections are. Now these are also going to be located on the passenger side of the motorhome, most likely. There is a cap that will be located on the black and the gray tanks. Now, the black tank and the gray tank, you can tell which is which by the color of the handles. Obviously gray has a gray handle and black has a black handle. First thing we'll do, we'll take our hose. We'll unscrew the cap that covers up the uh, connector. We'll take the hose put it in place, screw it on, and make sure that it locks in place. That way, we know we're not gonna leak any sewage on the ground. Once we connect everything, we'll wanna start off first by pulling your black tank. The reason that you pull your black tank is because that's where all your solids will be, from your toilet and so forth. You wanna use and pull the gray tank second because that way you'll clean everything that's in the hose or anything that's in the connection out with what is nothing more than soapy water or dirty water. So I'll pull the gray tank. You want to make sure that you only open the tank valves when you're actually going to drain the tank. Don't leave them open at all times as that will have a tendency to have more buildup inside of your black tank if you leave it that way. When I get ready and I'm finished draining the tank, I want to take and I want to close the black tank first and then I want to close the gray tank second. That way I make sure that everything that's in the hose and everything can actually be washed out of the hose by whatever's left in the gray tank. After draining everything out and closing your tanks, now we'll want to make sure that we use our hose and make sure that we push everything in the hose out to the sewer area. And then we'll be able to disconnect the hose by simply twisting counterclockwise, pulling it back off. And that time you might want to use your exterior shower or some other method like a separate garden hose to clean this out before you're ready to store it in the basement of your motorhome.